Hello, thank you for joining me. My name is Alyssa and if you're watching this video, unfortunately you're probably suffering from acute low back pain right now. If that's true, I want you to make sure that you have an appointment scheduled with your chiropractor or your physio as soon as possible. And if you're having any changes in your ability to hold your bowel or bladder, or any uh, decreased sensation in those regions, any numbness, tingling, or weakness going down your legs, or excruciating pain where you're not able to sleep at night, go seek emergent care. Otherwise, if you've done those things and there are no red flags, this is the perfect video for you. What you're going to need is a foam roller and a towel or a pillow. If you don't have a foam roller, the towel or the uh, pillow will be just fine. So we're going to get started. Go as slow as you need. Make sure that you modify accordingly. And I'm going to take you through a flow to do to kind of calm your nervous system, let those muscles relax and help to uh, assume better low back alignment. And we will get started. So if you have a foam roller, take the foam roller. Otherwise, take your towel and roll it up like this and you are going to place it on the floor and you are going to lay down on the foam roller so it's in your stomach, below your rib cage and above your pubic bone. Take your time getting down. You're gonna lower yourself onto it and then you're just going to breathe here. So like I said, you want it to be in the squishy part of your stomach. You don't want it to be hitting uh, your rib cage or your pelvis. If the foam roller is too intense, use the rolled up towel or the pillow. If you need to as well, you can prop yourself up on your forearms to take a little of the pressure off, or you can come all the way down to the mat. While you're here, I want you to think about taking deep breaths in through your nose and out through your nose. Try to slow your breath down and breathe into any tension in your back or your abdomen. I know that it might seem weird to be doing the first exercise being um, working in the front of your stomach, but oftentimes there's a lot of tension in our abdomen that is affecting our low back. So I want you to do this for anywhere between a minute working up to three to four minutes. All right, and then to get up, you're gonna push yourself up to your elbows and then onto your forearm and then hands and come on up to a tabletop position. You can remove the foam roller and then you are going to take that towel or pillow and roll it maybe kind of in half and then in half again. All right, and then take your time getting all the way down to the ground. You're going to go on to your back. I know that this part might be uncomfortable. Just do your best. And you want that pillow or that towel to be placed on your low back to encourage a slight arch in your low back. Oftentimes, when people are having acute low back pain, they tend to tuck their butt and have a rounded low back. So this is going to better realign your low back, your spine, the vertebrae, and the discs. And then it'll allow those muscles to relax in a safe position. 
If you can, draw your knees up so your feet are on the mat. And then just gently windshield wiper your knees side to side. Only going as far as you can. If there's pain, don't push through the pain. Do a slower or less range of motion. Again, keep breathing. Good. Slowly coming back to stillness. Straighten one leg and then the other leg. And I want you to rock one leg back and forth. So you're kind of windshield wiping one leg in and out. And I want the movement to be coming from your hip and that you'll see your foot will move as well. So you're gonna do this for about a minute. And what we're doing now, so the windshield wipers with your knees, we're helping to relax your low back. This windshield wipering your leg is helping to relax your hip and all those muscles connecting your hip and your pelvis. All right, so relax that leg, let that foot roll out to the side, and then rock and roll the other leg. So when you're doing this, be mindful of your breath, continuing to breathe in and out your nose, taking long, slow, deep breaths. Good. And relax. And feel free to do that whole round one more time. So if you want to bend your knees, can windshield wiper your knees side to side. We'll go a little quicker this time. Coming back to stillness. Straighten one leg and then the other. Rock and roll one leg. And relax and then rock and roll that other leg and relax that leg and you can either keep your legs straight or if you'd like to bend them Either one is totally fine, whatever is more comfortable for you. I want you to put one hand on your chest and one hand on your belly. I want you to close your eyes and start paying attention to your breath. I want you to try to breathe more into the hand on your belly than the hand on your chest. We're going to do a breathing exercise where you're going to breathe in and out your nose. We're going to breathe in for a count of four. Hold, exhale, 
for a count of six. Hold and repeat. When you're ready, breathe in. One, two, three, four. And out. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And in. One, two, three, four. Hold. And out. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And in. One, two, three, four. Hold. And out. Six, five, four. Three, two, one. And in one, two, three, four. And out six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. So that is a breath that you can do many times throughout the day. It doesn't have to take very long. I usually encourage patients to do 10 breaths like that 10 times a day. They can do it when they're in bed, they can do it when they're driving, when they're making food, when they're at a meeting. They can do it any time throughout the, the day. And you'll notice that it really helps to calm your nervous system down. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make our way back onto our hands and our knees. But before we do that, we just relaxed everything in our body. We need to make sure that our muscles are integrated and are firing so when we move, they're su su supporting and stabilizing us. So what I want you to do is I want you to do 10 glute squeezes. So you're going to squeeze your butt cheeks together and relax. And we're going to do that 10 times. Like I said, this is just wakening up our glute muscles so that our pelvis will be stabilized when we move. All right. And now what I want you to do is place your hands on your stomach and I want you to gently brace and kind of push out into your hands only as much as you need. If it hurts, do a little less, but you're gonna maintain that brace as you roll all the way to your side. So inch as much as you need to until you're on that shoulder. And then you're gonna push yourself up to that forearm and then all the way up, okay? And now you're gonna make your way to your hands and your knees for a tabletop. We're going to do a couple cat cows. So I want you to look up as you arch your low back and then round your low back as you look down. Your range of motion might look a little different than mine right now and that is okay. Only do as much as your body will comfortably allow. So you can do between five and 10 of these. And if it feels good, you can kind of rock side to side, moving in whatever motion your body would like. Good. And then when you're ready, make your way back or up. We're going to talk a little bit about some lifestyle stuff right now. So um, you're probably gonna be sitting a little bit more than usual right now. So when you're sitting, I want you to find the hardest surface that you can. Couches aren't the best because they just kind of sink you in and you just kind of like get stuck in that. You probably have already realized that 
Um, if that's all you have, you're just going to need some pillows or some towels to kind of just uh, like firm it up a bit so you don't sink in. So when you're sitting, let's show you here. Okay, so you're going to stand in front of this chair and you're going to slightly stick your butt out and then you're going to scoot your booty back as you sit down. What you want to do is make sure that you have a slight arch in your low back. So that's where this pillow or a towel comes in handy, is if you're gonna sit for a bit, make sure that you have that lumbar support, okay? And then you want to make sure that you are getting up and moving every 30 to 45 minutes, even if it's only for you know, a two minute walk going to your kitchen or somewhere, your body just needs to stay moving or things are going to lock up again. To get up from a sitting position, you're gonna scoot forward. You're going to slightly brace, do a couple glute squeezes to help activate your glutes to stabilize your pelvis. You can put your hands on your knees from your hips, you're going to lean forward, so keeping a long straight spine. Use your hands if you need to, to push down so you can lift your butt up and then walk your hands up until you're standing, okay? So that's a couple things to think about for transitional movements. Glute squeezes, gentle abdominal brace, and then, like I said before, make sure that you keep moving throughout the day, even if it's for five minutes every 45 minutes, just move around a bit to keep things moving and not locked up. And then um, don't forget those breaths, 10 abdominal breaths, 10 times a day. And then another thing that's really helpful is a contrast shower. So that means turn the water, um, take your normal hot shower, and the last 30 to 60 seconds, turn it as cold as you can handle. Um, if you can tolerate that, I know uh, other people really like doing like three minutes on hot and then 30 seconds to a minute on freezing cold do that five to 10 times, make sure you get your whole body. Um, if that doesn't work for you, you can also alternate between heating pad and an ice pack. Um, and then I would recommend doing that flow that we did at the beginning three to five times a day or until your back, until your back pain starts to get better, then you can start to decrease. I hope that this helps. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave um, a comment below and make sure you tell, you send this to your friends if you know that they're having any acute low back pain. Thank you. One last thing. Um, once you're out of the acute stage and you're feeling better, you're able to do more activities, I encourage you to start working on my low back pain flow to help prevent this from being an ongoing recurrent thing. Because once you've had low back pain, you know that you're more susceptible to it in the future. But if you change something, you change your posture, your mechanics, work on muscle imbalances, this doesn't have to be a lifelong thing. So and check out my low back pain flow. I'll link it below.